time at the zoo. And for every one of the animals, the motto for the moment will be, hold all. rely entirely on their teeth for getting hold of their food. Another animal whose teeth gives it a good hold is the Tasmanian wolf dog. His bar jaws make him a terror to sheep farmers in his native country. He finds his front foot a great help in holding down burns. The mongoose sometimes fences a raw egg and dashes it onto the ground until it cracks. Then he licks it up at leisure. The cat family have their claws controlled by special muscles and can unsheathe them at meal time. The king of all the cats guards his dinner with his paws and scrapes the bone clean with his long rough tongue. Winnie the bear cannot move her claws in and out, but she can hold an orange between her paws and soon tears the peel off. But like many orange eaters, she has a lot of trouble with the juice. Another fruit lover is Billy the Hornbill, who bounces with pleasure at the thought of food. He sharpens up his huge beak, all ready to get hold of his dinner, which he rolls carefully down his beak to his throat. Another vegetarian is the tree kangaroo. It has front paws like little hens and can sit up and eat its dinner quite nicely. Its distant relation, the kinkajou has learned to adore condensed milk and clasps the carton to its heart. But being in a greedy hurry to lap the whole lot up, it bends over too far and spills quite a lot. The giraffe, when his dinner is on the ground, goes through the most ridiculous contortions in his efforts to get hold of it. For long as his neck is, his legs are longer still. He prefers browsing in the treetops. But wherever there's food going, he licks it in with his long tongue. In 
inside their mouths that are a little too wide for strict beauty, the giant toads keep long, sticky tongues, which come in very useful for mopping up mealworms. As slow motion shows, theirs can be a most graceful way of feeding. But a toad with really good manners doesn't get a bit of moss into the mouth and then try to pick it out in public. Snakes have long forked tongues, but they only use them for finding their way and not for feeding. The python gets his dinner, in this case a dead pigeon, by striking at it to knock it down. And then he crushes it in his powerful coils. The secretary bird enjoys a tasty snake. The more poisonous, the better. She first beats it limp, so that it can't twist itself round her neck and strangle her. A snake should be eaten whole. That one evidently tasted good. The elephant is the beast that has between its eyes a serpent for a hand. His trunk seems as good or better than a pair of hands for keeping him well stocked with food. can hold on to anything with their front paws and their back paws as well. Its tail's up in the lemur house at meal times, and sometimes a case of snatch, a snatch can. The baby lemur holds on to its mother's back while she picks out a piece of lettuce. And this baby tries to hold a grape itself, but finds the fruit rather heavy for a very little paw. And in the zoological gardens, there are other animals, very much in evidence that are really well equipped by nature for getting hold of nourishment.